All right, hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Corey Dowds of Eye of the Veda, and this will be part two of my coronavirus update 2020 eclipse predictions video. So I made a video back in March, it's been two months now, where I said how this is going to be that, that Saturn is, you know, this eclipse is big, and it's the changing of the guard, and it's a very nasty eclipse. Um, and <clears throat> I talked about how a lot of corrupt people who are in the who are high status people, um, Capricorn rules the you know the the royalty people who are dominating at the top of the world, the movers and the shakers. This eclipse in Capricorn, I talked about how this is the changing of the guard. How Saturn is turning out all these ones who are not fit to be uh, a royal figure or a leader or a ruler or anything like that. Not fit to be a celebrity for the next long cycle. So, we've seen a lot of that happen. So I was going to go over some of that. And I will break it down in two main ways. Um, one of them is all these celebrities who've been getting the coronavirus when they really shouldn't be, you know? It's kind of like karma or something higher is determining that these people get the coronavirus because you know these are people who are like have the best health the best ability to quarantine they can go live in their million dollar houses alone and go swimming still and do whatever they want in their olympic sized swimming pools you know so people like tom hanks and madonna getting coronavirus is very very strange but it happens to fit the changing of the guard and what i was talking about so that's one aspect of it another aspect of it is all the ceo resignations that have been happening really since Saturn first entered Capricorn, but it accelerated to a tremendous rate this winter. So those are two of the things that I want to address in this video. But before I go into those two things, I wanted to talk about the unseasonal rains and the flooding and extreme flooding that happens in that uh, I predicted for Asia and India. So let's show that uh, statement I made really quickly. Um, as I wrote back in December of 2019, it, there will likely be some extreme cases of flooding in Asia and other parts of the world. But focusing on Asia, that was because the eclipse was actually visible in Asia and not in other parts of the world. And there may be extreme thunderstorms and lots of damage due to water. Capricorn rules uh, watery ground and Cancer also rules floodable tidal areas. And the eclipses here would bring those extremes, right? So it's pretty logical how I explained it. Um, and again, uh, we will get into that more when we talk about the corona, but the, <clears throat> in a medical sense, this exact same thing of the flooding and the inflaming is why I knew we were going to have such a bad flu season. Um, and I even truly wanted to say something about a virus because Rahu rules viruses and Rahu was in the sign of the lungs, cancer, so it was very, pretty noticeable, but I didn't say that, so um, I don't get the credit for that. But, you know, still think I did a pretty good job um, here. <clears throat> and then it's also interesting how, you know, Saturn rules the muscular and lymphatic system, which swells if it's not using up. So I wrote, if you feel cooped up this winter, just do some stretches, take a walk, keep the muscles and the lymph moving in the body, and that should help. So that's really funny how relevant that is with the quarantine and everyone being locked down. And that's like the exact advice that every expert gave everyone for this spring. Um, and winter, and um, here I, the Veda, accidentally gave that to you six months ahead of time. So, you know, again, I can't really say this easily without feeling like I'm coming off self-aggrandizing myself. I don't want to come off like that. Um, so this, I'm only bringing this up to further astrology, to further the fact that astrology is so amazing. This study, I've just been in love with it my whole life. And there's so much more we can all learn from this. Anyone can make these predictions. Anyone can see these things if they just take the time. So just need to pretext it with that because I don't feel comfortable talking about like um, these predictions in the in the sense that I made them. But still, they, you know, they need to be known because right now we have people like we have the New York Times writing articles saying that no astrologers were able to forecast this. That is a complete lie. And I can tell you also that if I don't get time to talk about this at any other point, one of my colleagues, Ganesh Jayakumar, predicted in the study Kala uh, email group, he predicted this economic collapse would happen down to February and March of 2020. He wrote that like back in 2017 or so. Um, so 
Lots of other Western astrologers have forecasted this. I don't know as much about that because I'm a Vedic astrologer, but if um, if you know about that, please leave a comment about any other astrologers who you know gave accurate predictions and forecasts for this phase because we need to kind of all come together and you know make make the New York Times realize this stuff like, hey, you need to actually do some real journalism if you're going to talk about this. Um, if you're going to talk about astrology, hire a qualified journalist who actually knows it or don't talk about it at all. You know what I mean? Don't hire a journalist who spends, you know, an afternoon studying and researching one of the most controversial topics on the planet and then thinks he's qualified to write the article, right? But I digress. So to, to first cover the flooding and the Asia and the prediction stuff, um, this, yeah, so this is what I wrote. Now let's see, um, I will try to pull up this visual of, uh, okay, like I first showed you guys in the, in the last video, <clears throat> Jakarta had these crazy deadly floods where 66 people died. You can watch the last video for that. I won't, dwell, I won't speculate on that more. I've since learned about new things um, since then. So um, there have been very unseasonal rains hitting Maharashtra. And so here, I'll show you this headline <clears throat> from on March 2nd, 2020 in from Mumbai, various crops on about 10,000 hectares could be damaged. Um, unseasonal rains coupled with hailstorms since Saturday have again hit parts of Vidarbha, Northern and Western Maharashtra and Maratwada. I actually don't know how you pronounce that. Um, this could severely damage crops such as wheat, corn, chana, onion, grapes, all these things. Um, this is the second major spell of unseasonal rainfall this year. So it also happened in early January, as it says. So there was also really intense raining in early January. And remember, early January was when the eclipse actually happened. And that was also when the Jakarta floods happened on like January 10th, I think. So this, this, this prediction proved to be true for India as well. And then um, there's also a video that a friend sent me of unseasonal rains in Pune. And so <clears throat> I'll show that clip real quick. This is just like a 15 second clip, but. Um, a, friend, a friend of mine sent that to me just so that there is a lot of that going on, okay? So I just wouldn't want to make these, like talk about that eclipse and these predictions and then people would be like, oh, but you also talked about flooding and there was none of that happening, blah, blah, blah. So there was that happening. Just since the media has been preoccupied with the coronavirus doesn't mean that's not been true. And now that Rahu and Ketu are in an air sign and a fire sign and Rahu still in Ardra, I'm expecting more crazy cyclones, hurricanes, um, wind storms, uh, the winds, windy sign airy, there will, or sorry, <laughs> Gemini, the airy windy sign Gemini will be creating more, um, that same Ardra, that same destructive Rudra energy I was speaking about before will now be happening in more of the context of cities because Gemini rules cities and wind damage. Um, could also still be thunderstorms and lightning though because of Ardra. Um, and so yeah, we will see like <clears throat> damage from lightning and damage due to wind in cities, like perhaps big buildings or things like that. Perhaps even some buildings falling down or falls from heights um, because Sagittarius has to do with falls from heights. Sagittarius being a fire sign also does concern me for the sake of like wildfires possibly, <clears throat> and then also just like war possibly, or a lot of revolution and people are getting very worked up. So, um, but I'm not saying that we're gonna have war, I'm just, that concerns me. Um, this upcoming eclipse does seem like it's going to have, be hampering up, going to be focusing on individual freedom and uh, rights and the hampering of those, um, or the not hampering of them, we could say. Um, okay, so you've seen that clip. So now you guys have seen the evidence for the rains and how that connects to the signs of Cancer and Capricorn and how it relates to the eclipse in Ardra. You know, Ardra is related to Rudra and Ardra literally means moist or soaked. 
like the Sanskrit word ardram means soaked or ardra is the moist or so it's literally the star of being soaked and inundated and moist also Uttara Bhadrapada has to do with that as well but uh, that you know you can kind of see how much these nakshatra energies kind of connect into the eclipses and then it's also uh, the K2 in Capricorn was happening in Purva Ashada. Purva Ashada is a star of uh, ruled by the goddess water, Apa, the, the, the water goddess. Um, so there was a lot of emphasis on water and flooding, and I just wanted to make that point. Now this video has kind of grown long, so I think I might need to make a second video on the CEOs and the uh, focusing more on the coronavirus but there is this connection here and as astrologers it's really kind of cool to appreciate the as above so below factor and how usually the things going on in your environment are omens of what's going on within you and vice versa and so all this flooding and all this thing kind of is very interesting how the virus that happened was is considered a wet virus you know and it affects the lungs the respiratory system which deals with um, fluid you know and so there was were a lot of interesting aspects of this Capricorn itself is a kappa sign um, kappa you know it, it gets a lot of mucus um, which affects the lungs Jupiter is a kappa planet and Jupiter was debilitated in Capricorn in the eclipse so I knew that there would be a lot of interesting medical issues um, but as well going along with the flooding and stuff um, but yeah, now we can go and move on in the next portion to talk about the changing of the guards, the CEOs, all those people who have um, who have kind of you know been affected by this in a rather surprising way. All right, so stay tuned for part three. Peace.